Hi friends, welcome to Positive Power with your host Michelle Dion. Thank you for joining me here today. So here we are, it's September. Wow, that seemed to come fast. Didn't the summer seem to blow right by? Although it, it does, doesn't it? That's always the way. So first things first, how'd you do this summer? Did you do everything you wanted to do? Did you make a commitment at the beginning that you're maybe going to do a certain amount of things or or spend some more time on yourself or families or barbecue or beer tents or whatever your thing is that you enjoy. I hope you did it. I hope you checked them off your, le your list and you didn't get too caught up in, you know, the day to day, too caught up in working, too caught up in overtime and maybe covering other people's vacations. You need to make yourself first. I swear it is not selfish. It's self-preservation. That's what it is. So <clears throat> the last four weeks, We've been talking about your powers because you are oh so powerful my friend so your first power is the power of your thoughts you totally control that second power is the power of the food that you eat which ties in with the third power which is the power of the medicine which quite often is in the food <clears throat> then our last power that we're going to talk about today is the power of your money you know oh boy we have a lot of power with our money and we talk a lot in different circles about the 1% versus the 99% about, you know, those families that we know now that um, have all the money that rule the world per se. Um, you know, we, we've learned about um, uh, over in other countries where they don't have good work conditions, sweatshops, right? That was the word I was trying to think of here. So we realize now about sweatshops, about what goes on in other countries. We don't support that, um, right? As human beings, we know, remember a few years ago when that building collapsed and I believe Bangladesh is where it was? And all those people, they died or they got hurt and the conditions were horrible and they weren't getting paid right and everything else. Well, <clears throat> when you go to different big companies and you give them your money and you buy the clothes from there, you're supporting that so you're complaining about it on this hand but then you're giving them your money on this hand right just like we complain about um, GMOs we complain about MSGs we complain about oh all sorts of things we just we do that but then at the same time we give them our money so is it shame on them or shame on us we're giving them the power. We're complaining about it, but we're giving them the power. So I just want you to rethink this for a minute and realize every dollar you have is oh so powerful. You don't like what's going on in the world? You have power in that money. So instead of complaining about what's going on in another country to the workers or what's going on with food, if you don't buy it, it's all supply and demand. It's all greed. It all gets down to the almighty dollar. So if you turn around and you take your dollar that you earned, you worked hard for that dollar. You turn around and you put it where you want it to be. If you don't want to support the third world countries <clears throat> where these people are being abused, then don't go to the big corporations and give them your money. Go to your downtown community or wherever you live, like here in Sarnia, go downtown. Give the small mom and pop business your money. Go to the farmer's market. Talk to farmers, right? Go and source out where somebody can make you something. Are you looking for something? Go on social media, go on Kijiji, wherever. Find out where somebody's going to make something for you that you need. Now, of course, you know, that's not going to apply to every scenario. My washer broke down. I can't go out and be like, who's going to build me the washer? It's not going to work that way. So we just do the best we can with what we're provided, right? And that's the thing, like it's not like you're never gonna see me in Walmart. <clears throat> There's things that I go there for, but at the same time, there is a pro to that because Walmart here in Sarnia, for example, employs at least 200 local people. So at least I know those people, as a result of me making my purchase there, they're getting a paycheck, but I still refrain from going as much as possible. I still check out all the alternatives as much as I can. So use your dollar. Use your dollar. You're so powerful with it. <clears throat> and you know what? Hoard it. Like you don't need <clears throat> to spend your money all the time. That's the other thing. You know, we're so brainwashed and programmed that 
what you have, what your assets are, um, contribute to your status in society. And unfortunately, that's not the case. So think about that as well. Maybe think about purging. Maybe think about recycling. Maybe think about educating yourself. I am anybody who knows me that is a friend of mine or I don't know, listens to my radio show or whatever, total documentary junkie. <clears throat> I love documentaries. We don't even have cable, but we have Netflix and we watch a lot of documentaries and on YouTube and whatnot. On YouTube, there's a really good one and it's uh, only 50 minutes long and it's called The Cult of Materialism. You want to educate yourself? Check that out. So there you go, friends. That's the fourth power. Um, and just realize how powerful you are. You know, I mean, we get caught up in the politics and all this stuff that we can't do anything about, <clears throat> but we can control so much in our direct day-to-day -day surroundings. So I want you to embrace that and just realize how absolutely awesome and powerful you are. So thank you for joining me. Have an awesome week. Next week, we'll do it all again. Take care, friends.